These 1,000 square feet residence with a detached garage sits high above Boulder on Sugarloaf Mountain in Colorado, United States. The house is built using a total of three 40-foot shipping containers accommodating a pair of bedrooms, the kitchen, open plan living, and two bathrooms. The containers saddle a central living space built using structurally insulated panels comprising of walling and roofing systems. A large outdoor deck stretches from the living room and the dining facing the lower side of the house overlooking the valley with an obstructed views of boulder and the flat zones to the south, a concrete slab floor heated by a tulikivi wood burning stove provides the bulk of the heat for the house. In conjunction with a photovoltaic array on the roof of the detached garage enables the house to run completely off grid, producing more electricity than it consumes, selling the bulk of the remaining energy to the grid. A concrete footpath from the detached garage connects to the front edge of the house. This is a view of the front elevation with this concrete path connecting to the main entrance. This is the main entrance with a covered entrance porch with a colorful yellow painted front door and you'll also appreciate the use of industrial finishes from the corrugated container walls on either side and these cotton steel covered SIP panels that saddle the middle part of the house. This is a view of the indoor space, the main living area of the house accommodating the lounge the dining and the kitchen. You will appreciate the high ceilings and also the clear three windows to enhance indoor lighting. This is a closer view of the dining space and the kitchen in the background. You will appreciate also the use of clear three lighting, the lean to roof, the concrete floors and the big glass doors that open onto the outdoor deck creating a seamless indoor-outdoor living experience. This is a closer view of the galley kitchen and the pantry on the far end. There is a big glass window that lights up the sink space. We have a kitchen island with a gas stove cooktop. This is a closer view of the dining showing the big fireplace. This fireplace is very important in this house. It powers the entire house by heating up the concrete floors that warm the house and enhance the indoor thermal comfort. A closer view of the fireplace steel and the lounge area, the lean-to roof and the exposed steel beams, the concrete floors, the lounge area, the dining and the big fireplace. This is a closer view of the lounge space. You will appreciate the two wooden bandos that have been constructed from recycled timber that leads to the two bedrooms in the house. The class lighting is also notable, enhancing the indoor daylighting. There's a closer view of the lounge area. There's additional storage space with vintage wooden furniture. There's a closer view of the master bedroom. Is a big glass window with an restricted visual access showing the mountains beyond. There's also the use of wall hangings and the indoor walls and ceiling are painted in light colors to enhance visual presence of the space. This is a view of the same bedroom showing this isolated sitting area. There's also the big glass window for maximum day lighting. This is a view of the main bathroom. This is a good 
choice of a Japanese style freestanding tub. We have floor to ceiling, wall tiling is a shower and also the big glass window with unrestricted views of the outdoors. This is a view of the walk-in closet for the master bedroom. This is a view of the master bedroom still showing the mini split system mounted on the wall to enhance indoor thermal comfort and also the direct access to the living space. A view of the second bedroom with a big glass window with an unrestricted view of the outside. There's an additional seating and also the indoor walls are painted in light colors. There's a mini split system on the wall also to enhance indoor thermal comfort. This is the second bathroom in the house. It has a glass shower cubicle that is tiled from floor to ceiling. These are wash and basin and also we have the toilet bowl. This is a view of the laundry area with a stacked washer and dryer. From the living room you access a private outdoor deck with amazing views of the undulating hills beyond showing this beautiful view from the elevated vantage position of the house. This is a view of the house showing the concrete foundation onto which the house sits additional under the house storage and the amazing view of the elevated outdoor deck. This is a side elevation of the property showing the lintel roof, the clear story lighting and the amazing view of the slope. This is a second view of the side of the house showing the lintel roof also and the clear story lighting. This is also the main access to the house from the detached garage. So which part of this house appeals to the most? Kindly give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we showcase the best of shipping container architecture from around the world. This amazing house was built in the year 2014 and is one of the pioneer shipping container residential projects in the U.S. designed and executed by Tommy Sek Studio. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. On this channel, we showcase amazing shipping container projects from around the world. If you like this kind of content, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for amazing weekly videos on shipping container projects.